you can pause the video and attempt this question yourself. Uh, otherwise, it's a simple question involving evaluation of functions. It says, let f of x be defined by this function. Which of the following must be true? I'm looking at the choices and I see that A and B have the same left-hand side. C and D have the same left-hand side. So I just need to do like one computation, not too many computations. So f of negative x simply means replace every x with negative x. So I'll use parentheses so I don't make mistakes. 1 over negative x. That becomes positive x minus 1 over x. That's f of negative x. And then this is clearly not the same as the question, uh, which is f of x. All right. So that's choice B. Choice B says basically f of negative x is f of x. That's the definition of what is called an even function. So they could have also said f is an even function. If f of negative x equals f of x, and that'll be true if a graph is symmetric about the y-axis. So the y value at a negative x value is the same as the y value as a positive x value. That's called an even function. So it's not choice B. Choice A says is the same as negative f of x. So I'll just evaluate the right-hand side, which is negative f of x. So it's really negative of the function they gave me. It turns positive x minus 1 over x. Hmm, that is the same. So it wasn't too bad at all. The choice, the answer is choice A. All right. And just for the sake of algebra, I shall evaluate C, and I encourage you to evaluate D uh, for practice, just for algebra skills practice. C says f of 1 over x should be f of x. So... I'm just going to replace every x with 1 over x, right? So f of 1 over x is basically negative 1 over x, which is that guy, okay? And then plus 1 over, I'm going to replace every x with 1 over x, 1 over x. So that becomes negative 1 over x plus, it's 1 divided by that, a fraction, so it just becomes x, which rewriting becomes x minus 1 over x. And the right-hand side says it's just f of x. And that's not 